Not pink enough? Sorry. Sorry to let you down. We're doing an all trophies run. All the endings, all the weapons, the tools, most of the bosses, except for the ones in the chalices that we don't need to go to for some reason. But we'll get them all done today. We're not dawdling. Eh, we'll dawdle a little bit. The patented YouTube intro, yes. This, this video will be demonetized on YouTube thanks to APRA CS constantly claiming music that they do not own on my YouTube videos. So. We'll all be happy about that when that happens. I just uploaded a Dark Souls video. They claimed it. They claimed my last Bloodborne video. I'm waiting to see if they claim the Wolong video. It's taking a while to process. Something might have happened. I might, I might have to re-upload it. So weird? No, it's not weird because all you have to do is is claim you own it and hope people don't dispute you so you take their ad revenue. It must work. It must work. Never been able to ask how you got three endings in one run? Uh, no, Dwayne. I actually complete the game three times. That That's how. We, we don't save scum on these runs. We do three legitimate playthroughs. One of them contains the, the optional and DLC bosses. And... The, the second two playthroughs, they, they, they're more of an any percent run. I thought they meant one playthrough. Well, I'm doing this all today in one run. But we're, we're, we're not save scumming. We will play the game three times. You should start claiming random videos on YouTube and hope they don't dispute it. Actually, that is, if, if my Twitch stream fails, if my YouTube fails, if I really want to be completely lazy and a degenerate, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just claim every single video I possibly can uh, with, with like Dark Souls music or Bloodborne music and, and, see, and see what I can get. It, it must work. Should have claimed the IGN speedrun video. I've gotten, I've gotten more than enough exposure from that video. Last time I checked, it was like 24 million. 24 million or something. That's crazy. Evil Sheep with the eight month resubscription. Thanks so much, Evil Sheep. How are you and Hera feeling? Better, I hope? Yeah, we're getting better. We're getting better. Which is good because we were sick for a while. You know me from there? Yeah, a lot. It, there's I, the IGN video and the GDQs. Where I got basically all of my exposure. Tops. Ooh, dude, it went right through him. But luckily, he backstepped into it. Oh, I didn't think it was going to hit me there. Nice. Got another visceral on him. Pretty decent fight. Pretty decent one. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the torch. Oopsies. I'll have to get that next time. 
First time playing the game? Yeah, first time. First time. I've always wanted to try this. I've played the other Souls-like games and the, the Hollow Knight-like games. But just haven't had an opportunity to try this one out yet. I played Sekiro. I just beat Sekiro yesterday. What? Who's this? Oh. Yeah, blind playthrough. I'm actually blindfolded right now. I've got one of those invisible blindfolds. Silk Song Wen. Oh, I think that's too hard for me. That'll be too hard for me. I, I don't think I can handle that game. I've been told that it's basically like the hardest Souls-like that there is. I, I don't know if I could do that. Zeus, would you reset your memories about Bloodborne and complete it again if you could? I've never completed this game. But no, I would never. No, I've, I've spent so much time playing this game. So much time learning it. I have absolutely no reason to want to forget it. That's what Mikolash... For, like, see, you guys are... You, you guys don't understand Bloodborne. I, I feel like a lot of you haven't played it. When you kill Mikolash, and he feels like he's waking up, and he's, he's sad that he'll forget everything. I'm Mikolash. Why would I want to forget everything? Have it all be a dream and experience it again? No. Nah. See, I died there on purpose because I wanted to go back and get the torch. I need to get the torch. Rip the chosen one. Torch manipulation. Lies of P will be amazing when it comes out. I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Excuse me. I accidentally got out of my dashboard. All right, we're back. Bye, Zeus. Later, Juice Mang. I really like that most recent God of War trailer. Looks like they spent some time with the enemy variety. Yes, I, I, I've I, said that. That in that tra trailer alone, there were twice as many enemies as in all of the first game. Which is... That's promising. I just hope that those are not all the enemies in the game in that trailer. That's it. <laughs> all right, we got the torch. Now we are good to go. Revolt with the two month resubscription. Thanks so much, Revolt. That Sonic game is gonna suck. I haven't, uh, I haven't paid attention to any Sonic stuff in a while, man. I, I was, Sonic 2 was my favorite game for a long time. I played that game religiously when I was young. I don't know. It seems like the people who make Sonic games don't understand that Sonic is, is all about speed. You know what I mean? They don't understand that people want to go fast. Like, really fast. All, like, all, all of the recent Sonic games have been pretty much super slow. I'm sure, I'm sure there's, there's one... I, I would hope that there's at least one that I've missed out on. That retains the original Sonic feel. But they also don't look good, too. But that, that's my complaint about most Nintendo games. No, I haven't played Sonic Mania. Like I said, I, st I stopped giving the franchise a chance, really. Sonic Generations was the last good one. Sonic Mania is good. Sonic... Okay, so lots of people are saying Sonic Mania is good.
Got him. Please give Sonic Mania a chance. It's basically a love letter to the original. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on. Never fought this guy, but you're pretty good at it. Yeah, that was decent. I was fooling around in the beginning. It's so easy for you. Hazel Rink with the 31 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Hazel Rink. Zeus, for someone who's never played this, what's the lore? Uh, what's the lore? Um, honestly, man, I don't want to spoil anything for you. You got to play it. I, I, I really don't want to spoil anything for you. You, you, got, you just got to play this game and experience it a few times. And, and then once you've, played the, once you've played this game and gotten all three endings and done all the chalices and, and read all the item descriptions yourself and you're wondering what the frack's going on, that's when you come to me. That's, that's the moment you come to me. You don't need to come, you don't need to come earlier. I don't want to... It, because it just, I'd be revealing too much. Y you don't have the, the necessary insight requirement. Gall Deer with the 10 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Gall Deer. I thought you never played this. That, that's true. I, I have, I've never played this game. You're right. I forgot. Sorry, Mikalash Syndrome. Did you ever think what happens after the endings? I know what happens after the endings. You're a box. What? Oh, take this. Nope. Double kill. Is this your first play? Yes. This is my first play. Uh-huh. Definitely. Ooh, did I just animation cancel? How did I figure that out? Crazy, I'm the best already at this game. Zeus, care for the doll, heard she's evil. Yeah, the doll is definitely evil. I can tell you that. The credits roll after the ending. Wow. You're like one of those lore nerds, aren't you? Where's the jump button? It's on circle. You sprint and then you jump. That's where that's where the jump button should be. Don't give me this L, jump on L3 nonsense, Dark Souls. Nobody likes you. Ooh, perfect jumps. Give me the torch, baby. I love the post credit scene when Iron Man shows up. It's my favorite. My favorite. But most people don't see in the, in the top left corner, you could actually see Spider-Man hanging upside down. He's hidden, but he's there. Making me push R3 or L3 in an action game is gross. Tell him. It's disgusting. You there. You there hunter. Hunter. hunter! Didn't you see the warning? Nope. By the hunter. You are a skilled hunter. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, Which blah, blah. You. you know, I was playing Sekido yesterday, and I turned off the music. Like, during the... Uh, the like, when any enemy notices you in Sekido... 
when any enemy notices you, it plays the same battle music. And it, it just starts to irritate you after a while. Imagine if, if every time you were being attacked by an enemy in Bloodborne, there would be like some sort of choir singing the entire game. It, it would get old real quick. Excuse me. Have you ever played any Fallout game? I, Fallout New Vegas is one of my favorite games. Love Fallout New Vegas. One of the best RPGs still to this day. Even though it's janky as hell. Even though it's janky. It's still, it's just a fun game. I wish, I wish they would actually, that's one game that I, I would totally love a remake for. And there were a lot of things uh, with the, uh, I forget, I forget the name, the, the, the Kaiser Legion at the end of the game. There were a lot of things they intended to do, but they couldn't. So I'd love, I'd love a remake where they actually went back and, you know, did what they wanted to and, and fix some things. Probably will never get it because it's a different title. It was a different company. Oh, go down, go down. Zerby with the two month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, Zerby. Got that ritual blood. I think New Vegas and the Fallout 4 engine could be good. Yeah, it'd be awesome. But I'd also like a uh, I would also like just a new Fallout game that you know, Fallout 4. I've talked about this before. Fallout 4 ended up having a lot of quests in different sections of the game that were basically exactly the same, like different fetch quests and just boring, boring, basic video game stuff. And they gave, they gave basically different sections of the games to different directors and they said run with it and they never had any communication. How ridiculous is that? So what ended up happening is these these people just made the same missions over and over again, not knowing that those missions were in the other sections of the game as well. And it became basically a repetitive cluster truck. It also didn't help that my copy of Fallout 4 had a game-breaking bug that they didn't fix until... I'm going to say six months after the game release. Have you managed to play Cyberpunk after all that nonsense? I played and I finished Cyberpunk. Uh, you know, it wasn't... My, my issue with Cyberpunk is not that it's, it's a bad game. It's just that they promised and said that they were going to do so much and did very little of it. The game... The game felt very just generic. I'm not gonna call it a garbage pile, but it's just very generic for a game world that should be really freaking awesome. The game itself is basic as hell. There's really not very many customizable options that are fun. Is in the wall. She is in the wall. Oh, I could jump too. All trophies, all trophies. Just got some trophies. Let's get some trophies. Condams. Can I get that armor set?
Yes, I can. Cool. Now it can look cool, at least. Jump attacks? Yeah, I, I, I might do an Elden Ring-style playthrough of Bloodborne. Nothing but jump attacks. Fashionborn? Ooh, dude, I just got hungry. Mmm. I like this set. If you guys don't know, too, this set is perfect if you use Beast Blood pellets. It's got a lot of beasthood to it. A lot of beasthood. I just got rocked by an old geezer. I don't need, I do I don't even know why I, I I did that. There's there's no reason for me to do that. Absolutely none whatsoever. Yesterday at football match in Austria, Croatia, some old Austrian guys started to yell at me, go back where you came from. That's uh, that's insane, man. That's insane. I could tell. I could tell you this. Wait. Okay. Here, here's here's how I feel about this. When somebody, if someone were to come into my channel and say something like that, we would ban them, right? I don't understand why. You know they don't ban these people. When they do, when they say these things at these at these stadiums, like if 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 one of my ushers heard that or one of my security guards heard that, that's as the owner of the stadium, I would tell them to get them out of there. Simple. Don't get it. Ow. Oh, hold on. I need a Molotov cocktail here. He drops a good rune for us. The beast rune. This is your favorite set to run with? When you just do a basic build for fun with a saw cleaver? Yeah, it's a good set for that. It's just cool, too. It fits the hunter vibe, but it's you, you see it a little bit less often, right? I don't know why I'm getting this. Oh, yeah, I do. The wooden shield. Best item in the game, baby. The ashen cape is, is... Dude, capes are one of those things that look awesome in, like, video games and stuff. But in real life, you see someone with a cape and it's like, that is not a look. That is just not a look. Yo, Ionis, how's it going? Have a go. How, how's it? <laughs> Let's have some more coffee. To partake in communion. Let us partake in communion. And feast upon the old blood. Our thirst for blood satiates us, soothes our fears. Seek the old blood. How fast are we killing Amelia today? 27 seconds. Count now. Hit her with an R1, L1, L1 to stagger. Go over to the other side, hit her with an R1, L1, L1 to stagger. We're not gonna take the visceral. We're gonna hit her in her left leg with an R1, L1, L1 to stagger, L1 for extra damage. Transform back, hit the head once, lock on, take the visceral. This is gonna reset her stamina points. We're gonna go back to the original side that we hit her on, hit her with an R1, L1, staggering L1, extra damage L1, transform back. No stagger this time. She's going to step back and hit me with her chin. Boop. Just like that. Full beast meter means three R1s. And we didn't get a stagger there because she did an early transform. Very unlucky. Very unlucky. That doesn't often happen. That's super rare. But what are you going to do? Just dodge an attack and just hit her a whole bunch of times and she dies. Exactly 26 seconds. Took 46 seconds? Your mom took me 46 seconds. You're confused, Mitch.
that commentary though, hundred percent pro. That commentary is is from back when I was actually a good streamer and I put effort into my channel. These days, I've I've just been coasting and making excuses and blah 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 blah. And I, I don't really do any sort of innovation or anything anymore. But hopefully new games will come out that won't make me feel like I'm just lying in a rotten pool of sewage day in, day out. Because I'm doing the same things over and over again because video game developers don't make any games! I'm not angry. You're angry. Oh my god, mom jokes! Yeah, I'm the world's best mom joker. Go Ouija with the 300 bits. Frankie Baxter with the 100 bits. Frigid Ligament, thanks again for that 17 month resubscription. Thymesia speedruns were fun. They were, they were. Rafiki with the 16 month resubscription. Thanks Rafiki. Unfortunately, Thymesia, as much as I tried to like get people into it or whatnot, it didn't really, outside of this channel and maybe like one or two others, no, no, nobody really picked up, picked it up. Nobody really picked that game up streamer-wise, so it kind of died, unfortunately. That, that's how it goes on Twitch, though, man. That's how it goes. Wouldn't you like Darkest Dungeon? See, when I, if, if I played Darkest Dungeon years ago, I would totally love it. But I'm just not into turn-based games. Just not into turn-based games. I like games that require like, like quick reflexes and, and quick thinking. All right, let's sell back the doll set. We get 35k for it. A purchase. Got one more Molotov cocktail. We'll get eight more of these just to bust ourselves out a little bit. I'm going to get the Kirk hammer. I need that for later. Perfect. Now, how many shards do I have? I need eight because I have eight. And if you guys are not aware, 8 plus 8 does equal 16. And we'll get the gems. Ooh, Zeus forgot something. Rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes. There we go. Shark Away with the three month resubscription. Thank you so much, Shark Away. All right, what do we get here? Let's get 12 of that, 20 of that. Cool. Let's go to Parl. Do you have any tips for beating Orphan? Yes. Um. When he, here's what you want to do, and I'm not patronizing you, but you really got to think this way. When he attacks you, dodge him, and then hit him once or twice, depending on the weapon. And then wait for him to attack you, dodge him, then hit him once or twice, depending on the weapon. Don't ever try to hit him more than twice. Don't do it. He's too quick for you. Now, there's also better, better dodges and better positionings you can get yourself into. So if you focus on where you're dodging to, sometimes you can find yourself behind him, which case you can get a backstab on him. That could help you a lot too. Greed is your enemy. It, it Orphan is so aggressive. You're often trying to spam attack sometimes and you're just getting walloped. Be a little bit more reserved. Have the fight take a little bit longer. And just really focus on learning how to dodge all of his moves. You can also do the parry route. Yeah, but I recommend people be badasses instead. 
I've tried to first phase him a few times, quite tricky. To get a first phase orphan kill, you got to, you got to. That was wrong. You gotta, you can't make a mistake. You can, if you get, if you make one mistake, like you get hit once, sometimes you can still get it, but you, you gotta be quick and you can't make a mistake. You can't give him a moment. Hey, Marcy. Can I just show off that I killed Orphan on the first try? The only reason you killed Orphan on the first try is because you were overleveled, mate. Only reason. Hang grit, it goes great. How are you? Slaughtered? Yeah, Parl gets bullied. Parl gets absolutely bullied. Truth, it's just how it is. He's the hardest boss in the game. If you fought him low level, you know. I, f I feel genuinely that if Orphan can hit you twice and you survive, you're over leveled. You know, he he's an end game DLC boss. When I do speed runs at level 55, I just I just murder him quickly. I, you, you can do so much damage in this game. <laughs> nice jump, Zeus. Get up on the rocks, bro. You've done New Game Plus 6, Blind DLC. Took you four hours. Never stayed on a boss four hours. Orphan was first. Now, see, I I have, but like I put I I, I I usually make these games a bit harder for myself, right? I li I like spending a long time on a boss on a first playthrough. I really love it. I don't want to say how long it took me, but I did it, and I'm proud. You should be. You should be. Like I said, I, 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 I want the boss to take me six weeks. That, that's what I'm looking for. Not, nothing has ever taken me six weeks, but... I want it. <laughs> Worst boss for you is Defiled Chalice Amygdala. On my first playthrough, that one took me the longest. Even, even harder than Orphan of Kai's. I could not figure out Amygdala. Not for a little bit. Now, if you stick around through this, uh, this, uh, this run, you you'll see that I've, I've learned Amygdala. You got close with Headless? <laughs> the swimming Headless? Oh my god. That, that made me so mad yesterday. Defiled Watchdog's one of my favorite bosses. I love Defiled Watchdog. He's just so aggressive and big. He's gnarly looking. He's got the limb break system. Awesome boss. And the stagger animations on him. Well, that's the, that's the thing with Bloodborne. All of the animations are just so good. And there's so many of them.
Is Defiled Amygdala really that tough? Well, the thing about Defiled Chalice is it halves your HP. So you, you actually have to learn the boss because if you get hit once or twice, you're going to die. And then because it's also Defiled, the bosses have a lot more HP. So you can't just, you know, sort of steamroll them. So it's it's a good combination to to actually make you learn how to how to fight the boss. And yeah, it usually does take people a while unless you go into it over leveled. That hurt. Watchdog of the frame drops? That's where the PS5 is awesome. No frame drops, man. Let's put a big creature in a small room. That room is not small. <laughs> that, that room is ginormous. That would be the biggest room in the world. Poor guys, no chance to survive. No, none whatsoever. I don't even know why I went back there. I shouldn't have. It's small for Amygdalan standards. Well, maybe. You might be right there. Beating the shadows solo for the first time feels awesome. Oh, it's... So Dude, one of the best multi-enemy bosses that they've ever done. Actually, it might even be the best multi-enemy fight they've ever done. It is, it, there is, there's no amount of BS in it. It's, it's, well, actually, there's a little bit. Sometimes those big snakes and their stuff goes through those, that big tombstone. Besides that, besides that, it's, just, it's such a good multi-enemy fight. It's not like Godskin Duo, where it's just, ugh, disgusting. You hate Godskin Duo? Everyone does. Now, the the fat Godskin is one of my favorite enemies in DS4. But, um... When you put them with the... When you put them together, it's just god-awful, isn't it? What's the recommended level for Bloodborne DLC? Four. Four is, the, is what I would recommend. Anything over four, and you... Honestly, even at level four, you're over level. Did you finish Better Call Saul? No, Bob. I, I haven't been able... It's hard for, I don't know, the, the beginning is very hard for me to, to watch again, but I don't remember it, so I have to watch it again. Hey, Shifty, how's it going?
I just missed it. I didn't regain enough stamina. I just needed a little bit more. A level one run for Elden Ring. Can you? Are there cool weapons to use on level one runs in Elden Ring? W what do I have to choose from? A bazillion things. Tree Sentinel Halberd can be used if you use a Strength Talisman. Okay. Why am I going back here? Why? For what reason? There is zero reason to be here, dude. What am I doing? Enjoying all oh, the PS5 loading times are great. But with that said, I also I I long ago put an SSD in my PS4, so the, my Bloodborne loading times haven't really been that long because of that. But the PS5 is even faster than the uh, the PS4 SSD by a couple seconds. Serpent Spear is usable. Is that the the one that you get from Rikard? Oh, no. no. No, get up. Get up. Jeez. Yo, Oat Nasty TV, good morning, man. Let's try cheating. Just came back from the Greek island of Kaz. Glad to see you're doing Bloodborne again. How was it? Pike Taylor with the 16 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Pike. How's your day going? I'm getting a, I, I didn't have breakfast and it's creeping up on me. So I got to I got to go and put some breakfast in the microwave real quick and eat it.
Dude, the synchronicity. The cold blood pop versus the one reborn pop at the exact same time. Just blood god things. Have you tried any of the snacks? Not yet, Clevis, because I don't taste anything except for red wine vinegar, bro. So it'd be kind of a waste, you know what I mean? But I will. I definitely will. You want to do a powder keg run? Is that boom hammer a fun weapon? Yes, though I would suggest getting some some gems for it. Look up the Bloodborne wiki and go and get some gems first because it's, it's more fun when it does a little bit more damage. I can tell you're feeling better today. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I have, but I'm still, I'm still low energy, you know? Do I have... I just kill him. Whatever. Or he'll kill me. Interesting. I know what we need. Damn, that hurts. Yeah, it's no big deal. We just gotta, we just gotta, he's probably got the blood echoes, right? We need those blood echoes, so we need to kill him now. So we put ourselves in a little bit of a predicament. I didn't think he was going to attack there, but he did. Let's see, let's see if he has them. He certainly does. Sneaky, sneaky. Booty slap. Oh, he cheated. We don't need to fight the worms. There we go. Zeus has all the levels he needs, to be honest. No, because we're, we're, we're going in defiled. We're, we're gonna want. We're gonna want more. I mean, we could. Do, we have done it BL four. So you know, we actually do have all the levels we need. But I, I don't exactly want to do BL four chalices today. Poor doll, you monster. The doll is evil. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to run to the bathroom, guys, and I'm just going to heat up food real quick. One minute.
All right. Let's get back to it. Is he chasing me? Oh, they're both chasing me. Nice. Very nice. Maybe, maybe they'll catch up to me at the door. Have a good Monday. Thanks, Vataloco. Enjoy breakfast. I'll, I'll have some bites here and there. We, uh, Hera and I actually drove into, uh, Philly. We li we live near, like, no good food. There's some things we get, but there's really only a few. So we, we literally drove an hour for Chinese food. <laughs> We took Rory with us, put her in the back seat. And we just hung out in the car for a couple hours and got Chinese food. There it is. What's for breakfast? Some leftover Chinese food. <laughs> I got more Chinese food for dinner, too. I feel your pain. I live in the woods, so it's a solid 45 to an hour to get anything that's not the same two places that get old fast. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. It's, it's the one negative about living where I live. It's much less expensive, less taxes, more property, bigger house, ah. quiet neighborhood, good neighbors, all that stuff but the, the grub hub is terrible. Leftover Chinese and leftover pizza, S tier breakfasts. Yep. You know what I had? The, I had leftover Thai food the other day. That was good. Had some uh, Masaman curry. Cold pizza? No, I don't like cold pizza at all. Oh, majestic! I have a pizza stone. Oh, that, that's time. That's time for a. Uh, for... Masamon's the goat. I got chicken. Though I have to ask them next time. They gave me chicken breasts. Curry is good with dark meat chicken. Not not white meat. So next time I have to specify dark meat. Something about cold leftover pad thai that hits right. Yeah, I'm just not into really cold foods, to be honest, unless it's salad. I'd rather just heat it up. Would rather just heat it up. Hey, Troy, how's it going? You need thigh if you're going chicken and curry, I reckon.
chicken and pineapple pizza? Get out of here, Goose Fraba. What the hell? Massmex with the 14 month resubscription. Thanks, Massmex. You like to do a leftover roast chicken into curry? That that would be good. That would be good. If you wanted to do super easy mode, you could just get like those rotisserie chickens from the grocery store, right? You've never had Thai, bro. Panang curry, Masaman curry, pad thai, chicken satay, satay, something like that. There's so many good things in Thai food. Chicken and bacon pizza is one of your favorites. That's not pizza. That's pizza fusion. You heathens. Oh, she still popped me. God damn it. Heresy is a delicious affair. <laughs> red curry? Red, like, I'll have a red curry, but I just like Penang and Masaban so much better. Pad Key Mao is also great. What's that? I've never had that one. Pad C U is your favorite? A lot of people have told me about that. I gotta try them. I've never had these things. Graves with the five month Twitch Prime. Thanks, Graves. Hold on. How's the taste coming along? I can taste things subtly, you know? Like just barely. Except for red wine vinaigrette. I taste that. Good morning, vlog. Yeah, I, I recently had corona for the first time. So I'm depressed because I can't taste anything. You lost your taste for six months. 
Yeah, I'm worried about that. Food is like my only, food is like the only thing I enjoy in life. Not really, but food is one of my major, uh, major enjoyments in my life. And it's kind of a major letdown right now. You've heard of some weird home remedies to get taste back, but it seems to just be different for everyone. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to expose my taste buds to as much stuff as possible. I'm trying to, to, to sniff it a lot. Dodged it. Hey, Chapel Dweller. Took you three to four weeks for your taste to come back fully. That won't be the worst thing if it's that long. I, I don't want it to go longer. I'm already depressed. You lost yours for two months? Yeah. Back to the dream again, yo. The good thing is I, I can still taste spicy. Right? I can still taste spicy. So that's that's at least a positive. And that's why I've been enjoying Asian food a little bit more. Hello, twin boy. Oh, why am I talking to you? I'll, sa I'll save the blood rock for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the church pick. Let's go to... Oh, I shouldn't have come here. Eh, no, this is good. It sucks, but if you can taste a bit now, that's a pretty good sign. Your husband's recovering from COVID and his taste is similar to yours. He can taste spicy or big, bold flavors. He's just now starting to get back to normal after about two weeks. I gotta remember to get the, whatchamacallit, it, the badge. I need the badge. Hey Zeus, just watch your new Burial Blade run on YouTube. Need to say your dog is such a cute one. She is. She is a cute one. Okay. 
He also didn't completely lose. Oh, I completely lost mine. Like there, there was there was a few days there where I was, I was in panic mode. I I couldn't even eat. I, I love to eat like broccoli. I love broccoli. I'm a crazy person, right? I I got I just got like fried rice and and broccoli and vegetables and whatnot. And I, the broccoli was the most bland thing I've ever tasted. I could I couldn't stand it. It, it was just nothingness. Blog with the three month resubscription. Thanks, Blog. Thunk. Gotta admit, it's amazing feeling when taste eventually comes back. Yeah, like, like I said, I I, I have subtle taste now, and it, it's it's so much better than it was. Liking broccoli is a signifier of being an adult. I've always liked it though. Although when I was younger, I wouldn't eat the tops. I would eat all the stems. <laughs> I loved the broccoli stems, but the tops disgusting. Now I like it all, I guess. The opposite of most kids. only do broccoli if it has some cheese planes too much to grow up eat your broccoli you know what here here's here's what i'll recommend to you oons this, this is what did it what turned me into an adult it's called it's called I, I, it's called broccoli uh no veggie pizza now this is nothing to do with actual real pizza this is pizza fusion it's a bastardization of what pizza is. It's not really actually pizza, okay? It's, you take a crescent roll. Now, we, I, we always go with like the, the, the less fat crescent rolls. It, and you, you, you lay them out flat on a, on, a, on a tray and you bake them, right? In like pizza slices, you bake them. You take them apart, you let them cool. You get a, you get a, a thing of whipped cream cheese. It's got to be whipped. And you get a thing of the Hidden Valley Ranch powder. And you mix the, the ranch into the cream cheese. And you spread it on top. And then, here's what you do. This, this is the good part. Then you take chopped up very small pieces of cucumber, Broccoli, green pepper, red pepper, and carrot. And you put it on top. Over the, ho the whole thing. And that's what... That is what made me really love vegetables. Because you start out and it's... It's really cream cheese ranch dominated. But you're eating raw vegetables. And if you do this enough, you eventually develop... It's like, it's like what people do with beer, right? It's what people do with beer. You, you eventually learn to like the raw vegetables. <laughs> Sounds really good. It is really good. It's, it, you know, now I want to make it for dinner. Now I want, oh. <laughs>
You love pretty much all vegetables? Me too. I don't know if there's one that I don't like. Need this guy. Just got back from Europe and had kebab pizza for the first time. Yeah, if you guys are unaware, there's this weird, weird craze in Europe going on where they 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 make like little little squares of pizza and put it on a stick, and they like they cook it rotisserie style. It's real weird kebab pizza. Angler boy with the 13 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Angler boy. Yeah, like they, they they take like they they take cut up pieces of dough, put tomato and cheese on top of it, then stick a skewer through the sections of it, and they cook it rotisserie style, and it's a pizza kebab. Will you stream on YouTube? Yes, I will stream on YouTube. One day soon, too. You're actually making a pizza today? Send me one. You're from Germany and have never heard that. I'm pretty sure it's real. Someone just said it was. That's And actually, someone said yesterday the same thing. If you hear something twice on the internet, it's got to be true. Gotta be. Do you have a partnership with Twitch? Yeah. I don't know why he healed there. That's a waste of a vial. You heard Twitch contracts prohibit YouTube streaming? They prohibit simulcast. I, c I can stream solely on YouTube if I want, whenever I want, but I can't stream at the same time on Twitch and on YouTube. I can stream at the same time on Twitch and like TikTok. For instance. Do you have a partnership with me? As so long as you keep that sub going. <laughs> I heard that you can't. Well, whoever told you that either can't read, can't watch videos, doesn't understand what's allowed or not. They don't know what they're talking about. I am a partnered broadcaster on Twitch TV. And yes, I, I can stream on YouTube. I can stream wherever I want as long as I'm not simulcasting on Twitch at the same time. Or if you want to upload your last stream on YouTube, I believe you got to wait a day. Well, you, there's there's no way you're uploading a stream uh, to YouTube in a day anyway. You know, like between their their upload, the, between their processing time and whatnot. Fox with the two month resubscription. Thanks, Fox. He's a popular Russian streamer. Well, maybe he has a different contract. I don't know. But he's, he's, he's honestly wrong. I'm going to tell you that he's wrong. What's the reasoning between night, no simultaneous streams on different platforms? I mean, the obvious one is, 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 you know, competition, right? And they, they, they say it's because you, you wouldn't be able to run a channel, uh, at the same time, which is, you know, laughable. 
As if I wouldn't be able to read two Twitch chats at the same time. Kind of, kind of silly. But I follow the rules. It's too hard, Zeus. Reading is hard. I've watched some Twitch streams, Knives. And I like to make fun of them on my own channel. Where it is clear that reading was not something that was ever taught to this person. <sighs> you deleted Ebri? I'm the Blood God. What do you expect? Let's go to Amygdala. Pretty much all of Gen Z? That's not true. That's not true. My sister's smart. There, there's the, the, here's the truth about generations. There's the, there's the same amount of smart people as there are idiots. No matter what generation. The idiots just, they, idiots just take on a different look in each generation. Smart people are usually quiet, reserved. They don't make a ruckus. They just put their head down, get smart, get their jobs, do their thing. That's how it works. And then all the idiots, they make everybody look bad. Every, every single generation. Dumb's becoming far too common. See, the thing is, I remember high school, Troy. And I remember in my class of, of 30, 30 kids, there being me and, and two, maybe three other people who are paying attention. That's what I remember. Can't be worse than that. Can't be worse than that. I gotta go, ooh, I almost forgot, the messenger's gift. You were the only nerd in your class? Keep at it. Do you feel ready for the match against Thumerian Queen? I mean, I could do it now. I mean, I'll keep leveling up a little bit though. Problems the ratio different? Let, please, let, I, this is this is every generation does this. You all think you're better than the young kids. You're not. You're watching Twitch TV right now. You're not some super genius. Okay. What are you gonna do? Touche. It is what it is, man. <laughs> like I said, my, my, my sister is studying to be an architectural engineer right now. She's got, she's got classrooms of people that are just as intelligent as her. Gen Z. The majority are morons. They always have been. My grandfather used to say to me, and I would disagree with him, but I learned... The, the, the masses are asses. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt, by the way. Trademarked. The masses are asses. I like massive asses myself. Words to live by. Real challenge is Abhorrent Beast. That's one of the letdowns of this run. You actually don't have to fight the Abhorrent Beast. He's one of my favorite bosses in the game, though. That's been an undeniable truth for centuries. You know it.
the younger generation will grow up with not knowing what maps, newspapers, VHS tapes, AOL, and DVDs. <laughs> all, all useless in today's world. So what? Useless. You don't need a, you don't need, you don't need to know where anything is. You have a phone that tells you where to go. What do you need to focus on that for? Wrong. Why are you so mad? I am not even the least bit mad. Why are you incapable of determining what mad looks like? What? Okay. Calm down, Zeus. You're being too aggressive. God, this weapon is broken. I think a lot of people don't really grasp tone of voice. Now that's something... I, I, I think some communication... Pers personally, I grew up talking to a lot of older people from my grandfather's generation. It's, it's, it's how I learned to, to tell stories and to talk to people, honestly. Millennials, the generation that I'm, this human body is from, are mostly incapable uh, of telling a story or maintaining a, a singular line of thought or getting from point A to B. The, 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 the idea of a millennial storyteller is so far beyond what people used to be capable of. I, I have noticed a lack of communication skills for a while compared to, compared to the the generation that were the generations that were phone oriented we're not we're not so phone oriented anymore and I, I think that's hindering a lot of a lot of talking and communication skills i think that is and and that's not just a gen z thing that's a millennial thing too well that's not our fault it is it is i'm tired of millennials and i'm i'm a part of it i'm tired i'm tired of millennials blaming the other generations for things and being mad about it. Like, I'm, I'm t I really am tired of it. There, there are certain things that a lot of people didn't want to pay attention to, didn't take interest in, because the, the world was moving on, and now, now a lot of those things are, are gone, which they could be rectified and gotten back. But I, I was definitely raised in an older home. I was. I was I was I was mostly raised by my grandparents. Good guy patches. How's it going, dude? Swoop Bandy with the 22 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Swoop. Where do I go now? Where do I go? I've done everything, right? I think so. No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, this isn't f- oh. Frack off, dude. Okay, I could go here, I open the gate. As someone born in 96, I don't like most people your age. Good. Keep at it. That, that's, 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 that's the, the ticket that I've taken. I, I think that leads to better character. Ignore everything your generation is doing and pick and choose. <laughs> From all the generations. 
You don't like most people? If you do, you're an insane person. I like talking to everyone. You're a psychopath. The only the only people that like likes all people and they're always having a good time, that is an axe murderer. Please don't use your real voice again. I I'm sorry, it's it's the COVID. <coughs> it's cracking. How old are you? 5,006. You barely like any people? Me too! That's why I'm on Twitch! I got- I got- for, for- in order for me to find people who I like, I gotta be on the internet. Because you guys are in like Croatia, and Germany, California, like- there's like seven people in my entire channel who live in the state that I live in. Right? You're all from God knows where. If it wasn't for the internet, jeez. I'd be eating people's livers with a nice Chianti and some fava beans. A Shimbo with the three-month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks, a Shimbo. You like all of us? God, no. 69% of you, at best. Wins Jesus, here's Toast World Tour. That'll be the day. You know, wait, honestly, before, get this, before COVID, like right before COVID, I was, I was researching the, the Gunrunner IRL backpack and I was, I was really considering uh, investing in the stream and, and taking it other places and doing IRL streams. Then, then the world ended. And nobody could go outside for a while. And, and that's just sort of just stopped. Die! Die! You loathe humans? I don't loathe all humans though. I've I've been pretty negative towards humanity lately. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a little bit more positive. Cause there there are there are people that aren't like all the other people that I hate. They, they really are, right? Miss Latina, thanks for the hundred bits. Lore-wise, why is there a bloodshot eyeball there? Uh, because they took someone, strapped them down, removed their eyeballs, took the body, left the eyeballs there to... To, to dry out because you need to dry out your eyeballs. I mean, who? <laughs> you're not gonna walk around with some wet ass eyeballs, bro. You gotta dry those things out, you know what I'm saying? But you happen upon and you take them, you yoink them before they can get dried out. There are some I like, but not enough to curve your ire. <laughs> Wabe wet ass eyeballs. <laughs> Put that on a shirt, too. One I always wondered about even after watching your lore videos was why the old hunter's eyeball is in the hunter's dream. Why indeed? Uh, the, the, the real reason is that From Software got a lot of flack for putting their <laughs> DLC item behind this whole convoluted mess of nonsense that made no sense in Dark Souls. So they just put it right in the freaking game world for you. <laughs> That's the real reason. <laughs> Tickets! Tickets, please!
Would this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left to Joe Manchester, pick your second right back more from the Magic School Bus. Alligator Nostrum, climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane to the gym. Drop your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day for me. You might get back into a pile on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. Say hi. The blood dog. Nothing better than the puppy hug, you know it. Ryu with the 14 month resubscription. UFO planet bomb with the gifted subscription. Wall of sleep with the ticket. Habafu, Justin, Duos, Leo, horror code, weird energy. Velex with the three month Twitch prime. Chapel dweller with the ticket. Blog, Arrayus, Rassif. NF Tim, Frankie Baxter with the double, Schrodinger Feline, Go Ouija, Mr. Dare, Miss Latina. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all so, so much. Rory so fluffy. She's got this really soft, swirly hair. It's very nice. Your pit sheds more fur than your cats? That's definitely not true for me. With her. Gatsby is still... Now, I will admit that the, the vacuum cleaner has more of an orange tinge to it. But Gatsby... His hair is... Yo, go Ouija with the KO Ken times five. Gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs, Ouija. And Link, ha Link and Harry with the two month back to back resubscription. Glad you're enjoying the channel enough to resubscribe. Thank you. This, oh, this is one of the coolest areas in the game. Best library in all of Soulsborne.
Coolest area shame is done within five minutes. Well, you don't have to You don't have to run past all the enemies if you don't want to Been watching on YouTube for over a year glad I'm finally able to catch you live. Welcome in man. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Upper Cathedral is much cooler. Okay. I wasn't really saying best. I said it was one of the coolest. But okay. Do Rory and your cat get along well? They're not like best friends or anything, but they, they tolerate each other. Begrudgingly. Upper Cathedral is one of the scariest parts of the game. It's just because it's dark. Greetings from Slovakia. How's it going? Too easy? What I what did I say? I'm overpowered in this game. <laughs> this this game allows you to do too much damage. <laughs> I love it. I love it, but way too much damage. That should be illegal. Visitor. Are you going to propose this run? No. We're not, we're not going that deep into the chalices. Hey, Seeker. Great to see you today. I'm doing great. Hope you are, too. So, we can go to the DLC now. Right? We can. I don't know why I didn't get the... Uh, <laughs> Silly Zeus. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could have been even more OP. Okay. DLC time. DLC! Yo, boost train success. Let's go. We just got boosted, guys. Oh, man. Wow. Now the view count is going to go down. Have you ever done all the story chalices, BL4? Did we finish that? Yeah, like we we got, we did BL4, like we were in like New Game 3 or 4. Curse. I think. Before I stopped it. Oopsies. Don't hit that button, Zeus. That's not the button to hit. Yeah, you did? Okay. See, I need you guys to to let me know. You know, I forget. Stopped at plus three, like you said. Cool. That's not where I go. That's not the way. 
We got to get a few items on the DLC that we don't normally get. Hopefully, I'll remember them all. This is the first one. The Beast Butter. There's a lot going on in this level. Wife got chased by turkeys. Dude, that's some aggressive turkey action. I don't I don't know if they our turkeys have the balls to chase anybody. <laughs> turkeys are the worst? How are they the worst? I get so excited when I see the pack of turkeys flocking around. Not kill me, please. Thank you. Got him. Now hopefully don't get uh, blocked by these blood lickers here. Speaking of turkeys, you're excited about this Thanksgiving? Gonna cook up a storm this year? That sounds good. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I've not him call... Wait, I didn't call them ball lickers? What did I call them? What did I call them? That was not what I wanted. Oh, he healed the dastardly dog. Stokes boy with the seven month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks so much, Stokes.
Gotta head out and take Doggo for a walk. Later, Chief. We gotta go back over here. I'll get the shortcut. We don't really need it, but we gotta talk to Simon, progress him. You are aware that you've been Are you this other? Beware, especially when the secrets are particularly unsafe. Favorite and least favorite souls like? Favorite? Bloodborne. Least favorite. What was that game that we just played? Steel Rising? Yeah. That game's garbage. Garnet Rooster with the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Garnet. Ladder Warp. Hype for the Pinocchio one. I'm going to play it. We'll see if it's good. Thymesia? I like Thymesia a lot. It's not better than Bloodborne, though. If we're talking about non-from software souls likes, the Neo 2 is my favorite. Nice. Very nice. Don't know how he got me there. That's so weird, but okay. Don't know how he got me there. Yeah, no release date on Lies of P yet as far as I've seen. That's why we get that shortcut. Neo 2 is awesome. Just went through the three DLCs it has. Bro, the Neo 2 DLCs are so good. Some of my favorite bosses are in those, those DLCs. What an awesome game Neo 2 is. Well, let's try this again. There we go. Arclight with the four month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Arclight. Have you ever played the Alice games? No, I haven't, but they, they looked pretty cool. They did look pretty cool. How much is Neo 2 better compared to the first? It's, it's better in every single way. It's, it's probably the best sequel to any game ever. As far as I'm concerned. I, I can't think of a better sequel to a game. It, it, they really... It's, it's not perfect, but they really Im improved upon most of the, the flaws in the original one. Did you try Wolong? Definitely. I thought Wolong was pretty good. Not as good as Neo 2, but I'll play the hell out of it. That's for sure.
boss is such a pushover. Planning on playing Evil West on release? Definitely, yeah. That game looks pretty fun. I wasn't expecting there to be like a big time narrative with that game. I hope it's not serious. I hope it's stupid and silly. Because they showed off a portion of it that made it look like it was... You're the best, Grandpa. You're the, you're the absolute best. Congratulations. I'll make sure I'll make sure you win an award for that shot. God damn it, man. Lee Harvey Oswald. Right there, guys. Seriously surly with the 30-month resubscription. Happy Monday. Beware of the frailty of men. Is there any weapon that would be better than saw cleaver for speed runs? Absolutely not. That's why. Well, there is one. I should say. There is one. The uh, the cannon. <laughs> uh, that's the the cannon is the only the only weapon better than the saw cleaver for speed runs. But that's because of the the cannon writhing glitch. Did you miss the best OST? No. I just I just killed him super quick. Jagetsu. Ooh, almost died there. A lot of damages. John Cena can't see him, but he's there. Trust me. Good morning, Mosh Pits and Bloody Crescent Crow. Bloodborne on a Monday. Life is good. Feel sorry for this boss. This is brutal. This is what it looks like when I'm actually playing the game. And I'm not trying to make the game harder. When, I, when I'm just playing the game, min-maxing, this is what it looks like. I know a lot of you have seen me play a, a, a lot of times where I, I'm, I'm doing some sort of challenge and I look like a scrub. But no, I'm not a scrub. 
Monday's the most likely day to see Bloodborne here. It is. It still is. I was thinking, I didn't, I just didn't want to do a randomizer today. And she's gone. Why not beat her from behind while you need to go to the face? Uh, because you get, uh, you can get more attacks. If you hit her from behind, she's likely to scooch away. But if you if you face her, then she'll try to attack you instead of dodging. So you can get more hits on her and kill her quicker. Nice job catching that. That's that's, that's one of those small details. You missed the Lady Maria mod? Yeah, maybe I'll play that again someday soon. That was, that was a really fun playthrough. That was so cool. Oh, guess what we gotta do now? Guess what we gotta do now? Blasphemous murders, blood crazed fiends. Try to take over the world? We're always trying to do that. die in a video game if you can get hugged by a puppy I know I know it doesn't matter mm -hmm. so All right, now we can fight the uh, now we can fight the sharks for real. 
My dog only knows lick and jump. <laughs> Is this the DLC? Yes, it is. See, all, all I needed was the puppy hug buff. That's it. Just a puppy hug buff. You should try it yourselves. Works like a charm. How big is the DLC compared to the whole game? That's not the question you want to be asking. The DLC completes the game. It absolutely completes this game. It's fairly good too. There's what, five bosses in it? Oh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to cheat. Oh well, we're cheating. Is there another end to it? More like another beginning. Okay then. Uh <laughs> Frag is that? I don't know. Seven thousand hours in the game, still seeing new things. I know, right? I'm going to go get the another blood rock so we can get the church pick and fully upgrade that later. Not the item I wanted to use. Am I now underwater? Like what just happened there? Was I just was I just put underwater for a second? Interesting. You had the fat rolling dude in dungeons just roll away into a wall and disappear. Even the bugs are 10 out of 10. It's so true. 
The bugs in Bloodborne are fun. In the, most of the glitches are fun, too. Some of them uh, ruin the game, but... Can't win them all. They big kahuna. Scooch. Form the lucky dog. Still flawless. Stop making it look so easy. It is easy. It's not my fault this is a baby game. Get another level. What do I? What do I? What do I need? Uh, what do I need another level for? Uh, what's next? Oh, I gotta go get the the other stuff, right? Yes. From. Why do you do R2 again instead of taking the visceral? Faster, more damage. You know when you, you miss time a dodge and you get hit with like twice the damage in Bloodborne? It's the counter hit system. Same, th same thing with you. If, you. if you hit a boss while it's, it's in counter hit, you get double the damage, so... Makes sense. Well, uh, no, nothing. Ah, oh, I love when Brad Door goes down on me. Come on. Come on. There it is. You just want a nice cushion for chalices, I see you. Uh, I mean, Defiled, yeah, you, you want some HP for Defiled, otherwise everything's gonna just one-shot you. Is 
Zeus is on clean mode today. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the game a little bit more serious than I normally do. I'm trying to win today. I am making an effort to win. You hated the Cursed Chalices? Your hate is my love. I'm excited to see you frack up some chalices. Yeah, it'll be fun. We still gotta, we still gotta beat the game a couple more times before we do the chalices, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Never got into the chalice dungeons, dude. You're missing out on some of the best bosses. There's some really cool environments in the chalices too, hidden away. Some cool items, some cool enemies. Lots of cool stuff. You gotta go out, puppy? Gonna take her out. I'll be right back, guys. Give me, give me a couple minutes. She clearly has to go to the bathroom.
All right. <clears throat> Thanks for sticking around, guys. This is still the best cinematic ever made. I love it. It's so good, isn't it? I love it. Uh, did I get... No. There's nothing to get. I just gotta go the boss. Low live, how you been, man? You might be biased, but you think the cinematic opening the Bloodborne is perfect? I'm not biased. It is perfect. Flawless victory. The cleaver, man, it's so good. I'm a surgeon with this thing. I'm a surgeon. Is there anything I've missed, guys? Is there anything that I've missed? That that's... It's, 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 always, it's always hard to remember. There's, there's usually something I miss. Yeah, I got the cannon. No, you don't need the milkweed rune. I got the messenger's gift. Oh, did I get a call beyond? Oh, I don't know if I picked that up actually. Ah, dude, I did pick it up, okay. First time seeing an all trophies run of Bloodborne, nice. Did you get the choir bell? Yes. Ooh, I don't have beast blood pellet. Just what is the meaning of this? Why turn your blade on me? <laughs> you one shot him. I mean, if I could just if I could first try Lawrence, I'm certain. Uh, first, first try Lawrence. I'm certainly gonna first try Alfred. Is there any other... Did I get the trophy for all the tools? Hold on. Uh, how do you see trophies on this? Let's see. 46%. Weapon master. No. I'm missing a tool. What tool am I missing? I have the messenger's gift. I have the gloves, the beast roar, the choir bell. I didn't get, I have the old hunter's bone. I have the phantasm shell, the auger of Ebriatus. Which tool am I missing? The tiny tinnitus. I didn't get the tiny tinnitus. Okay. Yeah, I got the gloves. I got the gloves. It's a tiny tinnitus that I'm missing. I warped. I warped out of the cage. I didn't. I didn't get it. Oopsies. 
I couldn't watch the double underwater headless boss fight through yesterday. Did we get those a-holes? We did, actually. I... At first, I was blaming the game. Like, it really... It really isn't that fun. But once I figured out, like, a, a solid strat to it, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard either. So I was... I was... I was making a mountain out of a molehill. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I was initially thinking, as long as you use the gachi and sugar anyway. I was able to when I finally figured out a strat, I was able to kill it pretty quick. But it, it took me a while to learn that strat. Yeah, I forgot to buy uh, bolt hunters marks. Headless are annoying. I like the headless. The underwater one, I did not like, though. Is there more than one Lawrence? No. Majin Brawly with the KO Ken times five gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus you goddamn legend thanks for the five gifted subs i really appreciate it thanks majin um hold on so i need You know, I'll just I'll just get it later. I'll just get it later. When I I still have I still have things I've got to pick up here. Beast rune. What other runes do I normally use? Not these. I don't. Oh, you know. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I need. I know what I'm missing. Hold on. Thanks again, Majin Brawly. Undead houseplant with the gifted subscription. Thank wrong. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh. It was trying to attack Puppy Chulo. It's okay, Puppy Chulo. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Majin Brawly with another KO Ken times five. You see that, Rory? Thank you so much, man. <clears throat> There's the rune I was looking for. Where's the cat? He doesn't like coming in the stream room for whatever reason. Metal Worm with the 21 month resubscription. Thanks, Metal Worm. Okay. Now we can go fight the bosses. Oh, we should get other stuff, though. Is that all? Yeah, I need beast bloods. Okay.
Tough game. Oh, a trophy. Slug baby time, you know it. All right, only we got only got to beat the game two more times now. Only two more times. Okay. This is looking like it could be a run that's submitted for world record. Oh, definitely not, man. Even, even my own PR, which uses outdated strats, is, is like about as long as this one is already. <laughs> We're definitely not speedrunning. Right. Nice gestures. We put this run on YouTube. Yeah, this will definitely be on YouTube. Unless someone comes in and says God of War is better than Bloodborne. And I go on a tirade. You shut your mouth, official. You shut your mouth. That's it. That's more like it. God of War is better than Steel Rising. Dude, those Steel Rising devs, I checked the Twitter again. Every time they tweet, there's, there's like dozens of people who have so-and-so issue. So-and-so game-breaking bug. Please help. What do I do? And they ignore them all. What a trash company, bro. They're so bad. They never reply to tweets at all. They're, they're literally worse than BHVR. I, di I didn't think it was possible, but they are doing it. Yeah, man. What are you doing? Oopsies. And this is the, the exact point where you, where you would lose world record. Even if we were on world record pace, we would have just lost it after, after like an hour and a half. Just because of this. You had a suspicion that Steel Rising wouldn't be all that decent. Yeah, it it, it was like I like I said, it's it's the worst Souls like I've ever played. 
Would not recommend. Do not buy at a 10. That glitch was pretty cool. Never. Yeah. It's it's cool, but from a speedrunning perspective, it, it's the thing that actually killed speedrunning this game for me. Because in order to get world record, you basically need for that dog to give you that skip perfect RNG three times. <laughs> Literally three times. So the speedrun, unfortunately, has a lot of skill to it, but that skip makes it completely RNG. But when we do runs like this, it makes it uh, a little bit shorter because we don't have to kill uh, Amelia. Did you get the refund? No, I honestly never even applied for it. If I remember one day, I will. That was close. I'm just gonna get the shortcut just in case. I get the lamp too, because you, you don't wanna, if, if I die here, it's a long run back. Gotta get back to work. See you later, Majin Brawley. Thanks for everything, man. Pick up all this extra stuff so I can level up the church pick. Well, that was incredibly close. You work remote, so you have Twitch up all day and work off the couch. Now that's the way to do it. I work remote as well. I'm not on the couch, though. I got a standing desk. You do the same? Then why aren't you in my channel every minute of every day, Knives? I know, I know you're here sometimes, but... I, I noticed the lack of a Knivesian presence. Huh? You watching other streamers? Oh. was a rough and tough combo man that was that was gnarly that was so gnarly that was nice that was real nice nasty dude it was so perfectly well timed that was good i i knew it as soon as it happened too i couldn't stop it i was powerless nice beard thanks aches you got gifted a sub? Enjoy. Enjoy.
Well, you know me, I like to stream around. You love the tags on the channel? Beard, brain, brawn, broad, souls born... Wait, wait, no, wait, what is it? Beard, brain, brawn, broad, souls like, born like, hollow knight, like, 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 and subscribe, watch ads. There we go. It takes, it takes me a minute. <laughs> watch ads. <laughs> Roll one right now. Now, I actually the, the 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 truth is, Twitch gives us an a, an option to opt out of the the ad revenue agreement, right? So I clicked that this morning because I didn't want ads running on my channel today. And you know what they said? They basically said, "Nah." We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so I couldn't even I couldn't even get rid of the ads today if I wanted to. But tomorrow there should be no ads. Or at least only only ads to get rid of pre-rolls. Stupid Twitch won't let me resubscribe with my Twitch Prime. This is okay. Now they're now they're just keeping us down. Oopsies. I got the sword off. Okay, maybe I shouldn't leave that guy alive. Can't be better than that, man. Just can't, can't be better than that. <laughs> okay, then. That's dangerous. Ooh, I locked him out of it. He got the whispers and everything. Too much of a god. Imagine agreeing to channel rules and then breaking one immediately. I, I don't have to imagine. I That is my life. I experience that every single day. <laughs> Metavia with the three month resubscription. Thanks, Metavia. I haven't been here in a while. Forgot how much I missed the blood god. I'm feeling good today. So you picked the perfect show to come back. I had, I, you know, Hera's been sick. I've been sick. It's, it's, it's been a rough few months. I, I know I haven't put on consistently great shows, but ho hopefully this year, the next year goes better, or at least we can ramp up in there.
Yeah, Uns, just so you know, man, I, I just... We, we don't talk about Bloodborne 2 because every day people would ask me about it, man. I know, I know, I know, I know you just want to know. But it's, it's just every single day for seven years I get asked the same question. So we try, we try to just keep it out of chat. You're bad? Hey, we're, we're all good, dude. We're all good. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just we keep it out of chat so I don't go crazy. That's it. Seven long years. Seven years. Oh, it's weird. Worked out, though. I don't know where's. Oh, dude. That's not gonna work. Uh, kind of. Surprisingly found my way. Aches with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Need a PlayStation game? Any suggestions? Bloodborne, Sekiro, Demon Souls, Neo, Returnal. There you go. I just gave you some awesome games. Play them all. Second, I was a banger. Yeah, we played it yesterday and the day before and two weeks ago. Um, I don't think I need to do anything. No, I don't think so. Buy the Neo collection. Prepare to stop going outside. <gasps> I failed at cheating. Oh, no. Okay, successful cheat. Sometimes you gotta cheat twice. I'll just go the long way. I need another gem anyway. Hey, Mart. Run, Forrest, run. I gotta see that movie again. You can never do that skip. Uh, the key for that, look at where my left leg and my left foot is. That's what you want to do. Put your left foot in the same spot mine is. It's all about that skip's all about placement positioning. Do the gems you find as you move to new game to new game plus get better? No, the gems you find in the main world in Bloodborne are exactly the same. The reason on this run you see me get two of those gems is because it's a little bit, it's like 3% better than the other one. So I just swap it out for an extra 3% damage. See, I've got two 18s and a 15. I'm gonna swap out that 15 for another 18.
Love that you explain skips and stuff like that. Hey, this is the Bloodborne help desk. Hey, second try. I'll take the hell out of that one. That skips harder than it looks. Yeah, that's like one of the skips in the game that, um... Oh, do I not have any Bold Hunter's marks? I don't. Okay. That's one of the skips in the game that I would not bet my life on. Like, if I had to bet my life on performing a skip in order to save myself or someone else, that's, that's the last one I'd ever choose. Durzilla with a seven-month resubscription. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime, no, no less. I love when people, I love when people subscribe via Twitch Prime to me now even more because it's like, it's like taking money out of Twitch's hands. I really like it. I'll give you my prime next month then? Yes. Why? Oh, uh, just, it's just, it's tit for tat. Twitch recently decided that they're going to pay all the top partners less money once we hit a, a cap. So. I'm just being petty. Damn it, Zeus, you will love Twitch and worship the only game in town. It's not the only game anymore, man. It's not the only game. I'll be dude, Vince, you gotta watch me on YouTube soon. It's happening. How much do you get for the prime? I get uh like 70% of it. Mark my words, it won't be the biggest game anymore in two to three years. No, it will not. Wrong. No, what is it? It might be lunchtime. She might be getting hungry. I'll go feed her. You do? So oh, you do YouTube streams? Really? I didn't know. You didn't tell me. I wouldn't have watched, but, you know, I could have. I could have. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you have two so far? I got to check it out to test. Yeah, I want, I want to do the same thing. How's the uh, the chat experience, Vince? People people say that that's what everyone has told me that chat is is terrible over on YouTube. It's the worst thing ever. It's awful, is it? <laughs> what may, oh, what why is it awful? Why is it awful? Main issue with YouTube streams is the chat for sure. Twitch has better chat by far. This is the most fun part of Bloodborne. I love the frontier. Are they the uh, the nightmare? It is toxic, but I'm toxic, right? So I'll fit right in. The UI is so much better on Twitch. Oh, you're talking about like a like a fundamental stand, but like the 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 actual UI. Feverborn with the 36 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Feverborn. I'm addicted to you. Don't you know that I'm toxic? Oh man. I'm thinking about doing a I'm going to I'm gonna make a Britney Spears cover band. I'm gonna dress up exactly like Britney Spears, but with a beard, of course. 
And I'll learn the dance moves. And I'll sing, I'll sing all the songs. Because Britney's not touring anymore, so you know what? I gotta fill that void. Chat is also odd. Just the ability to change font size and chat window. Emotes. Are there emotes on YouTube? So you can't change the font size? Britney Beards. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I'm, Br I'm Britney Beards. <laughs> That's good. The future of Twitch is to stream on Twitch, grow your brand overall, and then jump ship when the time comes. It's so sad. It's so sad. Got him. Metavia with a gifted subscription. Oh, majestic a ma subscription. Thanks, Metavia. It's more of a cultural difference between the platforms. Twitch is all live interaction all the time. YouTube is mainly watch VODs, comment and like. It's very two different mediums. What was... What was your view count in comparison to your Twitch view count? Was it, you know, about the same? Was it more? Was it less? Aches with the KO Ken times five gifted subscription, hitting me with another sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs. I appreciate that. And Metavia with another gifted subscription. Uh oh. How do you dodge it? Jeez! Cosmos. Metavia with another gift 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 gifted subscription. He thinks it's the cosmos. This is my kind of stream. I'll be sticking around for sure. Hey, that's awesome, man. This is really where they have it all backwards. If you have a YouTube audience, they come to Twitch really well. If you have a Twitch audience, they don't really go to YouTube side that much. Yeah, well, that that's, that's the concern, right? I... I've, I have like kind of a YouTube audience, I would say. It's, it's definitely not as big as it used to be because I just put VODs up there and I screwed my algorithm over. But I still, have, I still, I still get a, around similar views, sometimes less, sometimes more to Twitch. So I'm hoping when I do go over there, it won't be like a, like a massive downturn. I'll watch you on YouTube anytime. Hey, I appreciate it. I want to test the waters, at least. APW. Hey, That's where I started watching you first. Oh, I don't need any more chunks. I've gotten more than enough. I also need to get what you calls it. I need to get the, um, Bold Hunter's Marks. You're the only streamer I watch? Good.
Watching your first Sekiro playthrough at the moment on YouTube? Oh, dude, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> We tried TikTok streaming from desktop and got banned on my first stream. How did you do that? You, you know what, Vince? You are not appropriate for a Chinese audience. That's what that is. You, 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 you probably, you, pro you probably curse. Yeah, it's probably that. I don't. Th I don't think you can do anything like. That. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to curse on TikTok, but you can jump up and have your clothes disappear. That's allowed, but no cursing. If I ever go to TikTok, I will be making jump up and clothes disappearing content. Just so you guys know. Like I'll do one of these, boom, and the hat will come off. And then I'll do another one, and a shirt will come off. That, that's that's going to be my TikTok content. Zeus, I cheated and checked out a different streamer this morning. Did you catch anything? Go get tested. Nude lawnmower stream incoming. I, you know, I might live in the middle of nowhere, but it's not that much of in the middle of nowhere, all right? <laughs> Can't get away with that one. Not with that attitude, I, I would not... Bro, the state police will be on me so quick. <laughs> no way. <laughs> on your property? You cannot be naked on your front lawn, bro. That's not gonna fly. They'll arrest you for packing a deadly weapon in public. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could have a gun on my property. It's... Oh, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I, I could still have that. I'm allowed. <laughs> Helicopter! Ouch. You must accept your death. Be freed from the night. <sighs> angry Dad with the 11 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Angry Dad. Thank you so much. my blood echoes where'd you put them oh no bro <laughs> oh 
Where's my blood echoes, bro? Suck on my left toe. <laughs> you only have one left toe? I was in an accident, all right? All right, we beat the game twice. 5K blood echoes. Is that how many I had? <laughs> I needed them. You didn't know that? You did know that, and that's why you put the kappa, because the accident was involved with your mom. She bit them off during sex. Good. Oh. I'm that's a that's a euphemism. YouTube, don't demonetize my content. That's a euphemism for um intercourse. Anyone saw all the crazy games in the NFL yesterday? I do not have time to watch football. I do not. Are the Giants good this year? Is there even a reason? Do they have a chance? Bears won. The Giants are 2-0. I think they play tonight. 2-0, Monday Night Football. Yeah, is Eli still playing? I'll watch if Eli's playing. Bring Eli back. Eli hasn't played in two years? Say it isn't so. Watch ESPN2 and Eli will be there. Why is there not ESPN the Ocho? That's the only ESPN I'll ever watch. Eli the objectively better brother? Bro, Eli is the best quarterback in NFL history. You can't, you can't say anything to the contrary. Statistics-wise and playoff-wise, everybody knows Tom Brady's the best, right? Yeah, well, Eli beat Tom Brady two times in a row. Tom Brady, the supposed best, can't get, can't, could not get past Eli Manning. So he's the best. That's how it works. How about a Sekido randomizer? That might actually be fun. That that might be fun. Got a couple decent lunch skips today. Well, the the first one sucked. This one that one was really good though. Imagine owl father plus normal owl instead of double apes. That would be hilarious. I wouldn't do that. This Twitch chat starting to feel like friends, which is weird because I don't play online games. And listen, we run, Mitch and myself run a very tight ship when it comes to people. There, we, we, I allow, I allow basically free speech. You can get into arguments with people if you want, as long as it doesn't get too much and I, I start getting pissed off. But it allows you and everyone to get to know each other. If you don't like someone, you, you block them, whatever. That's it. But we run things pretty chill here otherwise. He lets me be a moron that says a lot, exactly. 
Do you like House of the Dragon? It's something to watch. I mean, it's like it's like it's like pornography. There's nothing good about it, but it's pretty. When you're in the right mood. That's it. <laughs> It's better than Rings of Power. That is absolute garbage. With that said, I hope they pay me to watch more of it. But they haven't. I don't know why. I that that actually I, I ran I ran a watch party to watch it, right? And Twitch still hasn't paid me. Like their bounty system didn't track it. I, I wonder if they've emailed me back yet. How many uh, twins do I have? Cool. The worst thing about the the new Lord of the Rings, it's not it's not even Lord of the Rings. I, I'm not calling it that. The worst thing about it though, is that they didn't even make bearded dwarf wives. What what's the point of making a show if you're not if you're not gonna put in bearded dwarf wives? What's the point? Freaking dumbasses, dude. Money. Money is not the reason that there's no dwarf wives in it with beards. Money is not the reason. It's lack of creativity. That's all. Like, like the people who made that are literally incapable of being creative. They, they have not an ounce of creativity. She did have sideburns. Get out of here with that. Sideburns. Solar boy, nobody comes in here and and says nice sideburns, all right? They say nice beard. If I just had sideburns and no beard, people would say nice sideburns. There's a difference. The fan who wrote the fan fiction Rings of Power is based off of is anti-beard. When you're right, you're right. My mom's also anti-beard, always comments on how I should trim it. You should tell her to shave her head every time. That's what I would do. Luckily, my mom's never done that. Oh, bro, I didn't get the lamp. I didn't get the lamp. Frack. Sorry, I'm not always able to pop into streams to check, but you do still randomizers a little more infrequently now, but yeah, I, I still do them. Well, got to go all the way back. Sorry, guys. You just typed all of that and he answered it. Bro, I just lost 400k. <laughs> Frack. God damn it, Newman. God damn it. That wasn't your fault. Well, I guess I'm I, I guess I'm doing this one under leveled. <sighs> it's 
fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm real close to figuring out the spot. Goomba Stomp. See, that's what I wanted. How can you play Bloodborne without a Goomba Stomp? Tears in your eyes, you little baby. Zeus, what did you think of Wolong? Thought it was cool. I'll play the hell out of it. Like, I mean, I'm going to play the hell out of that game. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play the hell out of that game. How many runs do you have to get to get all trophies? Just three. good not too big on the morale ranking though yeah me neither the whole battle flag raising morale ranking stuff is stupid it really is What is the system, honestly? Basically, if an enemy is your morale rank or equal to your morale rank, they'll be like pretty average enemies. If they're one higher, they'll be a little bit harder. If they're three higher, they'll be a little bit harder. If they're five higher, they'll be a little bit harder. So if you go up against enemies that are have much higher morale than you, it'll take longer to kill them, right? And they'll hit you harder. So it basically kind of like gets you to go around the map and get all the battle flags and kill all the enemies. So your, your morale rank is, is equivalent to the boss and whatnot. Not really that interesting of a system. I also don't like, like it visually because your, your character just runs around. You find a, a, a post and you just reach into your butt and pull out like a 13 foot long pole with a flag attached to it. And it's like, dude, how did you get that pole? Where, where, where have you been carrying that freaking thing? And it just makes no sense. So you have the potential to make a boss easier the more you explore and do things. That's exactly what it'll do. You know, if you kill all the enemies, get all the battle flags, uh, you'll have a much easier time with the bosses. Interesting mechanic. I don't it's not really that interesting. I really I I really don't All all it's gonna do is ma like it makes speed runs a little bit harder. That's it. Which I'm I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. It'll just make speed runs a little bit harder, which is okay. I just don't think it's very interesting. Lunchtime. What can I order for lunch today? That is the question. What do we get for lunch? Because it's clearly, yep, 1230. 1230. It's clearly time for a lunch.
You know what? I enjoyed the uh, the salt and vinegar chips with the uh, the 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 vinegar on the sandwich. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that again. Order what you deserve. All right. 24 ounce ribeye steak. Got it. Jersey Mike's. I don't I don't have any of that near me. I had Jersey Mike's in college. It was just like average. Italian delis are usually better. Just realized I'm six hours ahead of you. You must be in, in, in Europe then. Don't order steak for delivery. It continues to cook while in transit and you end up with well done steak. Well, okay, so if we if I do get a steak and we order it, it'll be from like Texas Roadhouse, which is about 25 minutes away. Which means that I get it and it's 25 minutes later, 30 minutes later I eat it, right? But I haven't really had too much of an issue with that, man. Honestly, I get it. I get it medium rare. It doesn't it doesn't like overcook or anything. A resting steak will not go to well done on its own. Yeah, that that exactly. That hasn't been my experience. Make sure, like you know, they. I don't know. I guess maybe other hot things, but to be that hot, I don't know. I feel like they're just they're just overcooking your steak. Is all. They're just overcooking your steak. That was close. That was really close. Always let the meat go to room temp. Exactly, Newman. You let it go to room temp and then you heat it up in the microwave to make it hot again. How do people not know this? That's what I do. I would too if it yeah dude it's 25 minutes and it's like by the time i i you know i unpack and get out of the car it's 30 minutes you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes all right i live i live i live in the sticks heating it in the microwave bro 
I heat my tea in the microwave too. What's wrong with that? The microwave is the perfect heating appliance. Worst tick box in the game, right there. The booty blast. You need, you need, you need 500 insight to actually see how wide that blast goes. You started using your oven more as a reheating appliance? Oh, I mostly use the oven. But the microwave is, is fine for reheating food for the most part. Unless it's fried. Unless it's fried. Use the oven to reheat pizzas? Yes, and I use a pizza stove. Yeah, the, we use an air fryer. The air fryer is good. Have you tried air fried steak? No, I haven't had that. You won't reheat coffee in the microwave, it gets gross? Yeah, an air fryer is, is not really an air fryer. It's, 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 a, it's a mini convection oven it is exactly what it is. I love how we ignore the game at this point. Well, this is this is the, uh, the 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 coasting part of the run, right? Right after we finish this playthrough, we'll get into the uh, the chalices. Although the first two chalices will be super easy. It's muscle memory for Zeus, after all. Yeah, I've done this a lot. You dislike One Reborn? What? You know what? We're watching this just because you said you disliked it. This is amazing. What are you talking about? What's not to love?
I love fighting one reborn with a saw cleaver in New Game Pluses. It's so easy. Zeus just kills a boss instantly that took me hours of pain. What's his lore? From what I gather, there's there's a, there's a ritual taking place behind that door. And you can see there's lots of townspeople in Yahargul that have been turned to stone. So basically, what I, what I think is that all those people were, were sacrificed. Thrown into another dimension where they were combined and amalgamated all together. Whether this happened instantaneously or whether this happened over a period of time. We don't really know. But it's clear that the one reborn is, is summoned in to stop you. What's your fastest on Orphan of Cause? I don't really know. I don't know. I... 30 seconds? I don't, I'm, I don't know. That was close. That was very close. That was also very close. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon. You know it. Exactly. You're addicted to Neo? 90 hours in and just started the fourth region? Replaying missions because they're fun? Yo, dude. I would say, you know, you could replay missions all you want, but Dark, seriously? Neo has like some of the best New Game Plus stuff. So I would just, I would just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like replay anything until New Game Plus and just replay there. Because going through the, 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 the success of new games in Neo has been really, really fun for me. In Neo, they, they switch up all the, uh, the mission and all the enemies. They, they put new attacks and they, they, give you, they give you new stuff to do. So it's worth replaying the missions in the new game pluses, definitely. And then there's also the Twilight missions, which are replay missions, but harder. Would you play a VR version of a Soulsborne game if that was a thing? Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah. If, if, you, if, you, if someone could make a game where I can murder people with a sword of some sort, or an axe, or all these different weapons, and we, we could have VR PvP, that would be awesome, man. That would be so cool. I would play VR Bloodborne even though you would yeah, I would I would love a VR Bloodborne. Would love it. Any beginning tips for Neo? Mitch, do you by chance have like a Neo tips video? Like a clip of me. You can look, but not that you know offhand. All right, we'll make one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed him. Majestic! 
Worst part of Bloodborne is his boss? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Imagine Mikalash. Imagine Bloodborne without Mikalash. Are you kidding me? Mikalash is Bloodborne, dude. It's Rawberry with the nine month resubscription. Enjoy your brand new slug baby. Make sure you slime it every single day. Can anyone tell me the difference between Neo and Souls game and New Game Plus? Neo gives you different enemy placements. Some bosses, like bosses get new attacks. You also get access to like, like a different category of weapons and armor sets. Oh, I could be doing 3% more damage. I gotta remember to switch that gem. My one major issue with Souls games, and even Neo though, is New Game Plus is always like super easy. I, 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 would, like, I would like New Game Plus to actually be a difficult experience. Elden Ring's new game plus feels like a victory lap. That's it, every game except for Demon Souls. Demon Souls actually has a difficult new game plus. It's just it, it's it's way too easy always. It's so annoying. It, even with Neo, I I want to I want to get to the higher new game pluses, but Got to slog through the easy stuff first. How's it going at Hazusha West Toast? Oh, it's going all right. How are you doing?
Thanks for the bit, Shadow. Weapon. Time for some chalices. Is the church pick that good or just a favorite? It's good and a favorite. Both. I used to be brainwashed by the doll. Zeus saved me. So if, if, this, if this is your first time watching one of these runs, just know that the chalices don't scale with new game, unfortunately. So the first two chalices are meant for you to do early, 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 and I'm just gonna breeze through these. They're not gonna be difficult at all. But once we hit the third chalice, the difficulty will scale up a bit. Try that again. Is there a weapon you don't like in this game? The... What's a weapon that I don't like? Hmm. I would say the, the writer Palash, maybe. Vechi with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. Please ban the dude that said Boomhammer. Boomhammer used to be one of my least favorite weapons, but then I put good gems in it, and I, I, I saw the appeal of the boom. Today you reached level 509. Try the blood letter, you're right, it's very funny. Any plans for another DS2 run? Yes. I will be playing DS2 again soon. It just, we got a lot of stuff going on in October. A lot of games to play. So, not in October, but later on, yeah, we'll be doing another one. Any plans for Halloween? Maybe. Maybe. I might I might do like a 24 hour stream on Halloween. And Crunk Mafia with the 12 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black Z because you have ascended. Thanks for the whole year of support, you legend. Halloween is your wedding anniversary. That's a good date. You're not going to be going trick-or-treating for Halloween? I feel like I'm a little old. 
feel like I'm a little old. Everyone I see trick-or-treating is like five. I'm a little older than five. Kaminsky with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. He's going to be that house that passes out apples and toothbrushes. Elden Ring combat. Hey, Veneer. Young, welcome in. Do you recommend DS2? DS2 is a very good game. It's a very good game. It's very frustrating sometimes, but it's a very good game. You're late today? I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. The Elden Ring technique is very effective. You've heard people who loved Elden Ring would like DS2 the most, so I'm tempted to try it out. Yes. Dark, if you don't know, Dark Souls 3 is the sequel to Dark Souls, and Elden Ring is the sequel to Dark Souls 2. What makes Defiled Amygdala so notoriously hard? It's the half health mixed with a boss that in regular new game, it most likely you fought it and you were overpowered so you didn't really learn its moveset. And it's just different than any of the other bosses in the game. It, it requires you to fight the boss differently. So you're not really acclimated for that style fight. Sandor with the 14 month resubscription. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Oh, remind me, I gotta put on my eye rune. What's your opinion on them switching actors mid-season for House of the Dragon? Who, who and why are they doing it? I, I haven't paid attention. I haven't watched the last couple episodes. At damage, like I said, the, the first two chalices are going to be super easy. It'll get hard again. Is it any good? It's, it's whatever. It's not, it's not, I wouldn't call it good. It looks pretty. It's basic. It's exactly what I expected. The dragons are cool though.
You didn't have high standards after the Game of Thrones ending? Yeah, it's quite clear that those guys have no idea how to... How to actually write or formulate a functional story that's entertaining. And they're, they're real great. Like, that, that's their big thing. Like, th they love skipping amounts of time that make it so, like, they can just get on with the part of the story they want to tell. Instead of, like, making it, having it make sense and having it be a progression, they, they constantly skip time to, 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 to force the narrative and force the characters to change. They're terrible. They're absolutely god-awful. Let's see. What do we need? We need another chalice. Another chalice. Wait, no spoilers, but there's a... G Wait, they, they put another 10-year time gap in the new one? Oh, my God. They're so bad. They're, they're terrible writers, dude. They're so, they're so bad. I, I don't even know their names, but I don't even want to know their names. Yoink. You heard really good things about Rings of Power on Amazon? Dark Scatter, whoever told you that that show is good? Kindly, kindly remove their opinion. Amir Trezor with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub, Amir. Time skips are only good to cap off of a film. I mean, there's some times where it works, but it's generally a lazy way of writing. Doesn't that that's not a rule, but generally How do you drink coffee with that mustache? Drink and wipe, man. Drink and wipe. The Nat Chan with the 36 month resubscription. Three whole years. Thanks, Nat Chan. Happy Monday. Any tips on a beard? Grow it longer than you've ever grown it. Shave it off. Then grow it longer than you grew it last time. Shave it off. Rinse and repeat. Once, once you get it to like an inch or two, start using beard oil. Make sure you shampoo it and condition it every time you shower. That's about it. When are you shaving? When your mom gets tired of the beard.
That three-year badge looks really cool. Thank you. I did it myself. Got a job interview in an hour? Good luck, man. Good luck. Beards have a lot of upkeep. I'm going to disagree with you majorly, man. Beards have a million times less upkeep than shaving every day. I mean, you got to maintain it, sure. Like you got to you got to trim it and whatnot. Don't get me wrong. Okay. This guy's is is the is the best in the world. But the best in the world is no match for Elden Ring style combat. No match. I never knew there were separate products for beard. No, that don't buy into that. I use the same exact shampoo and conditioner on my hair as my beard. Don't buy into that. They're overpriced. It's a gimmick. Not necessary. I've been using uh, shampoo and conditioner on my, my beard since I started. No difference in product. The Elden Ring technique is too OP. <laughs> the max my beard will grow with an inch and a half. I went six months. And you stop kind of look like the original Wolfman. Well, that's, that's the thing. You need to be shaving more often than that, Casavia. But... There's, there's also genetics at play, but you're, you're waiting too long in between shave. Like, if you ever detect that it's not growing, you got to shave it off. That's, that's what I would tell you to do. Don't, 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 don't wait all that time. If it's not growing anymore, shave it. Get rid of it. Grow it again. Uber Willow, take it easy. Have a good one. Wait, do I go that way? And if it's not growing, maybe a beard isn't right for you. That's not true. I got this beard growing, uh plan that you guys can take. I'll send you some oils, right? It's guaranteed to grow your beard. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel tier three for six months. And then I'll send you out a little vial of it for, for testing. And if it works, we can, we can keep you up on a payment plan. Golden ring, wench! What's your favorite Demon Souls boss? I mean, probably Storm King. Adjudicator number two. 
Flame Lurker's awesome. Alon's awesome. Penetrator's pretty cool. It's always fun to knock Tower Knight down and hit him in his balls. Wow, he just dominated me. Do you have any tips on Flame Lurker? He's got he's got six attacks. He's got six attacks. The ones you gotta worry about the most, obviously, are the ones that he slams his fist down and causes an AoE. Most attacks in most Souls game, the arm's gonna go back and then forward. And usually you dodge at the moment it goes forward. With Flame Lurker, you wanna dodge the moment his fists hit the ground. That, that's, that's the key with that one. The moment his fists hit the ground is when you wanna dodge those AoEs. Oh, I didn't put the eye rune on. Gotta go back. Fighting Flame Lurker while locked on is death. Eh, I disagree. That's... I, fi I fight him locked a lot. I I'll switch and whatnot, but you can fight him locked. Oh, the bosses are much easier in Demon Souls. They're, they're, you can't argue that they're not. Bosses are much easier. Is Demon Souls the hardest Souls game? No, it's the easiest. It's it's the easiest. Did I not have my beast rune on this entire time? Wow. Silly Zeus. Silly Zeus tricks are for kids, man. Oh, you know what I didn't have either? Hold on. RPG Z, man. Gotta gotta play it. Oh, I put I put him on. No, never mind. Frack. Asus was actually smart. I finished Elden Ring the other day, and everyone was right about Elden Beast being garbage. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Vechi with the hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oop, open the door, Zeus. Open the door. Yeah, the church pick is a strong weapon. Radagon was sweet. He was pretty cool. I mean, it's not like... Oh my god, this boss is awesome. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Should have given him a second phase. Would have been better. Ball launcher. All right, Elden Ring time. 696 damage, you see that? Elden Ring is a nice game. Elden Beast should be a hidden boss. Mm, I disagree. I think Elden Beast is bad enough to be completely reworked, redesigned, redrawn. I don't even like how it looks in the context of the game. Hey, Butt Scratcher! How 
how to beat Bloodborne using this one simple trick from Elden Ring. Should have just made Radagon have a second bar. No, final boss style, man. Radagon, see, Radagon to me isn't isn't cool enough for final boss. He's not even cool enough. Just have me fight Millennia last, honestly. Is that the highest damage attack? I mean, it could be. Wait, where? Oh. Is it this way or is it the other way? I think it's this way. Then I gotta go in there. Elden Ring. Oh, he ate a grass crest! He ate crescent grass, man! That's rare. That's rare. I spoil you all. Dude, me and these... I'm switching these. I never, I never do it this way. rare for enemies to heal themselves that guy yeah he doesn't use a blood vial he eats something and i always say it's it's he's eating he's eating a uh, grass moon grass from demon souls oh did i dude i didn't go that way is it uh hold on i think i gotta go back i forget hold i i forget hold on Oh, this is not the right uh, dungeon. Nope, that's not it. I go in the pre-boss room. That's what it is here. Here we go. Elden Ring seemed kind of rushed. I wouldn't say rushed. I, they just made the... Listen, most open world games are just too big for their own good. And ev even uh, From Software fell into that trap. They just made the game too big. Drop a ritual blood? Yes! That's awesome. Normally don't get lucky like that. Ooh, he almost knocked me out there. I almost... Been, it's been a little while since I've done this. I thought I was forgetting something, and I did. Alright, I gotta come back here.
You didn't want it to be open world? Listen, it's one of the best open world games I've ever played, right? But I prefer the... the I, I prefer the half open world that Soulsborne games traditionally are. Ladder warp. Fallout 3. Edit. You know, I haven't played Fallout 3. I liked uh, New Vegas a lot, though. You prefer more linear type? Well, I... If you use the word linear for any Soulsborne game, I'm going to disagree with you, Kaminsky. Uh, half open world is, is how I view it because you, you can go to multiple... You, in any Soulsborne game, you can go to four to five different areas at least, and then there's another pa branching path with more areas. It's, it's not, they're not linear experiences, but they're also not open world either. A lot of the Soulsborne games have like a circular loop dungeon thing going on. The, the interconnectedness of the world is apparent no matter where you are, right? Yeah. They're a choose-your-own-adventure game. Yeah, kind of. Elden Ring! Clean. Hidden walls in Bloodborne, you jest. I love this place. So cool. That said, you listen. I love my first playthrough of Elden Ring. I loved it. I just gotta, I just gotta figure out a way to have fun with the game. I'll give it another chance. I'll give it another chance for some replay value. And listen, when if if and when I do get back on it, I won't be burnt out on Elden Ring like every other streamer is, pretty much, because they played it for three months. They did nothing but play it for three months. They did everything for three months, and now they're like, oh my god, there's nothing to do. Hey, Marmajack! Wrong way. You're impressed with all the free updates we got to Elden Ring? 
Oh, from software always patches their game like a dozen times or so to fix stuff and balance things a little bit better. Going into this fight with not enough damage is very frustrating. Oh, yeah. I could see that. <laughs> it's more fun that way. When you win, anyway. Back we go. Ooh, some free blood. Now, the beasts of Bogardin. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The beasts have caught up to me. That's not good. Ah, uh, come back here, you wench. How many hours do you have on each Souls game? I don't know, man. Lots. Lots. E even the games like Sekiro and DS3 and DS2 that I don't have as many hours on. I still have a lot of hours on. <laughs> mm, actually, I think it's the big one. Yeah, and the one off to the right. Got all our ritual blood. Now let's go back. There's just a little bit more for us to get. Almost done. Oh, 
All right, collecting is over. No more collecting needed. Excuse me. All my food's actually here. All right, we'll, we'll fight this boss first and then I'll go get the food. Perfect, perfect timing. Not a very good uh, time. Not a very good. Uh... Ooh, man, I'm getting hit too much. Okay, I think the hunger is just setting in. Jeez, I'm just missing that. I want his face. I want his face. Give me that face. He didn't give me his face, unfortunately. I tried to hit it, but... Oh, well. Cool. I'll be uh, back in just a minute, guys.
Okay, so what do we have left to do? We can remove the eye rune. Oh, actually, we, we can repair this. We can remove the eye rune. We don't need this one anymore. Boost rally potential, sure. Get some blood. Get some more buffs. I guess we can get a level or two. Well, let's place the chalice first. I need arcane haze. Forgot something. I need Bastards of Loran. Two of those and four of these, right? All right, defile time. Oh no, my dashboard's gone. Okay. What's for lunch? I have a sandwich, some chips. Yo, Vindus, see you later. As you as you can see, our uh, light. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get HP. I gotta go back. I went the wrong way. It was the other way. Hey, Mr. Humble. Reese, how's it going? The original plan for this evening's entertainment was Rings of Power, but this is much better. Sandwich eating bearded man playing Bloodborne all trophies is definitely better than Rings of Power. I do agree completely. Alright, that was good for three levels at least. Better than nothing. Alright, now let's go. Hey, Black Goatee. Just finishing up this run, man. I in the sandwich every moment I get a spare chance.
Yeah, you have 50% HP in this dungeon. That was my fault completely. I'm not I'm not supposed to do a third attack there, but I was like, yeah, I'm getting away with it. What are you gonna do to stop me? What are you gonna do, keeper? you baby girl I'm looping you what are you gonna do about it you're gonna do nothing Keeper's kind of an easy boss. Yeah, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. Um, hold on. My girlfriend saw Zeus playing randomizers. Now every day she's asking if I learned it, learned how to create one. <laughs> it's a shame you need a jailbroken PS4 for it. Because they are super fun. Wait, one more. Flawless victory.
Rory versus Watchdog, who wins? Rory, easily. Another boss you wish was in Elden Ring? What the, uh... I wouldn't have minded if they put him in Elden Ring. I wouldn't have minded. Filed amygdala. Use the shield there. Last chalice, but we do need to go into one more after this one, just for a quick minute.
What settings or aesthetic do you think From Software might might take? Mm, I don't know, man. First off, I, I'm not exactly sure that there's gonna be an Elden Ring DLC. But I, I, I think the the next game might be Armored Core. I think that I'm I'm expecting Armored Core from them. We'll see. This way. AC is the rumor extremely stoked for that? Yeah, I'll play the hell out of that, man. I'll give that a shot. You hope no DLC will come to Elden Ring because it was so bad, but what if the DLC is like the best part of the game, right? What if they, what if they drop that on you? It's like, wow, this is amazing. But with that said, just give me new stuff. Give me a second O DLC before an Elden Ring DLC. That's how I feel. You thought Elden Ring was bad? No. I just think Elden Ring's not replayable. I think it's too big. Okay, I just missed everything there. Elden Ring! I feel like I can taste this sandwich 2% more than yesterday. That's, that's really good though.
Oh no! Ten second rule. It's Scotty too hotty time. I don't know why that's hitting me. I suck. Oh, I thought he was staggered. My bad. What are you doing? You stop it right now. Whatever that was, we're not allowing that. Ah, no worm, Scotty. No, no, I said no. The worm! Delicious. What kind of sandwich is that? Basic turkey with provolone, lettuce, tomato, onion, oil, and vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano, salt, and vinegar chips. Basic? What? That's you can't be, get any more basic than that. I mean, that's how you make a sandwich. It sounds delicious. Miss the protein? It's turkey. I mean, I can kind of taste it. That's a progress. No worries, wretched. Hope it went well.
We're going to talk about the Met Braves un upcoming series. Everyone uh, is all going to ride on that pretty much. I see up your dress! Aha! Oh! What did you- Whoa! Dude, she was playing dead! She was playing Opossum. Opossum, where art thou? Oh, dude, I shot her point blank range. Yo, it's head banging time, guys. No. 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 No! I'm fine. Stop teleporting away! First try. First try. All right, so what's our trophy situation looking like here? 78%. Wait, 50%. Oh, God. Oh, we got to go back to the DLC, guys. What weapon am I missing? From the DLC. Rack. I have the arm, I have the blood letter, I have the saw, I have the Rakuyo, I have two bow blades, I have the holy moonlight sword, the church pick. I have the butter. I have the scythe. I have the Gatlin gun. I have the church cannon. What am I missing? Oh, where's the lock shield, bro? I picked that up. Where's the lock shield? I totally picked that up. What are you talking about? 
Oh, it's right there. I have the lock shield. What am I missing? I have amygdala and arm. I have the sandwich. Mmm. I don't have a very right up. Rack. I don't have the fist of Gradia. I have it! Bloodborne DLC weapons. Bro, I don't I don't even know. Fextra life, get the frack out of here. Useless. I don't have the boom hammer. That's what I'm missing. I don't have the boom. I don't have the boom hammer. How could I not get the boom hammer? That's like the easiest one to get in the DLC. I just forgot it. Okay. Um, so we got to go this way. Someone said earlier the boom hammer. No, they didn't. Nobody said that earlier. If someone had said that, I would have noticed. I certainly would never miss anybody saying it earlier. Nope, they didn't. They didn't prove it. Prove it right now. See, nobody has proven it. I have requested proof. Zero proof has been given. I gave enough time. Frack! I got strats for this. It's fine. I got strats. All we gotta do is is kill Amelia. It's fine. And Gascoigne, no big deal. All we gotta do is kill Gascoigne and Amelia. We're okay. Got a crumb in your beard? Really? Mm. Thanks. I love when I do this on these runs. There's always something I forget, man. There's, al there's always one item. And it's never the same item. It's always a different item each time. Killed Eileen either. Frack. I never killed Eileen.
Well, I guess I gotta go to whatchamacall. I gotta go to New Game Plus 3. And kill what's her face too. I love I love how I've hit my limit on my quota of ads and Twitch is still running ads. There's the, like there's still I've hit the limit and they're still running them. Are these ads I won't these are probably ads I won't be paid for. I tried to turn off the ads this morning and they wouldn't let me. Literally wouldn't let me turn off the ads for my own channel this morning. Even though there's a there's a there's an option to opt out. But no, can't opt out today. And now when we've gone over the limit, we've gone over the limit. I still am getting ads on my channel. It's amazing. And I don't have a beast blood pellet. Took way too big a hit from the bong. Humans. Too big of a hit from the bong. You're old and your throat sucks. Last time I was over your throat. Yeah, it did suck. Your throat did suck last time. You're right. <laughs> I gotta go this way, right? Ah, oh, I forgot. Gotta go the long way. Look at the D bag with the flamethrower. All right, I have no, um, There's a drop. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the drop by the brain sucker. Alright, I have no beast blood pellets, and I have no numbing mists, and it's new game plus whatever, Amelia, but... I don't care. We'll fight her anyway. Has Bloodborne been the bait, biggest bait and switch in terms of setting they ever did? I don't think anyone expected the game to shift into Lovecraftian horror. No. I don't think so either. Threw everyone for a loop. More games should be like that. Where they don't reveal everything about them.
Too easy for the blood god? It really is. It really is. She can take a beating on this new game cycle. Yeah, if you don't use Beast Blood pellets, the uh, the damage on successive new games is actually nice. Damn, Amygdala from the rear view. Take a look at that, boys and girls. Woo! Smokey. You here? Nah. All right, all we need to do is get the boom hammer from the DLC. Then we got to go into one more chalice. Get the beast claw and we sh and then we go into new game plus and kill Eileen. New all new game plus 3. This is the way to platinum the game. Yep. It would have been better if I had, you know, gotten the boom hammer earlier and killed Eileen earlier. But we just forgot. Do I, no, I don't have to beat New Game Plus 3. I just need the, uh, the trophy. You need to get beat New Game Plus 2, though. For the Platinum. I only need to go into New Game Plus 3 because I screwed up. Oh, I remember that guy hit me, and that's why I... That's why I warped out. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get the boom hammer. He hit me. Oh, just in the nick of time. You just kill Gascoigne, won't she just automatic? No, I, I've already like finished the game. Everything's out of sequence right now. Cause a lunch skip. Good night, you eat. Farewell.
Good. You might do a few runs, this game's so good. Just be like me, man. Play it for the next seven years. Is this his second or third? Well, this would technically be the fourth. But I'm, I'm only doing... I'm not even going to do a boss right now. I just got I just got to kill an NPC. Do you play with a 60 FPS patch? No, this is on PS5. There's no 60 FPS patch. I used to. I, I played it a number of times when, when Lance released it. It just It's just easier for me to play on PS5. All the games I play are on it. I don't have to worry. Like sometimes my streaming computer is not the best these days. So sometimes when I play on PC, it bogs down. And then I have to restart my stream, which is always the worst thing you could do as a streamer. So I, I try to stay off PC as much as possible. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for one of those PC companies to offer me a deal. But they haven't come calling yet. Yeah, it's 30 FPS on the PS5, but it's super smooth. It doesn't drop at all. It's nice. No, I'm not streaming from the PS5. Sorry, drunk. I'll string you up like the filthy beast you are. You shall not abscond your hands. Were you not once a hunter? Is this sincere what you want? You still have dreams? I got stuck in the corner. The little doll I said hello. That's annoying. That's annoying. Do you ever wish that achievements involved more than simply collecting a series of items? Uh, well, th with Bloodborne, it's a shame that they don't make you do all the, the story chalices. Like, you don't have to do Lore and Dark Beast. You don't have to do Abhorrent Beast. That, that's a shame. You should, have to, you should have to, like, fight and kill everything in the game, I think. If I made a game too, it, it, you would have to beat the game in a certain time to, uh, to get the platinum. Not only all bosses, but kill one of each individual enemy. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm see, for me, it, for me, like a trophy is a trophy. You want to give me a trophy? I got to be rewarded for it. I, it's and it's got to be a rewarding enterprise. You telling me there's stuff in the game I, I don't have to see, and you're still gonna give me a trophy? I think that's baby. That's baby mentality. Well, I understand why, like, the chalices are optional. You might want to replay the main game, but not want to do all the chalices. I understand that. You never understood how to complete the chalices in the right order? Basically, you just do one chalice and you find all the... If you, if you do the chalice completely and you get all the items, you'll have enough materials for the next chalices.
No, the chalices don't scale with new game. Almost done. We got one more boss left and one more item to pick up, and then we that should be it. Almost forgot. Now the question is, do I remember how to go through this one? Let's see. To the right? Yes. I'm gonna go with the ladder because why not? Aha! Easy! Knowing your sense of direction, I want to say no. But at the same time, I believe in you. All right, you made the right choice. Do you like that spin move, backstab? That's a new one for me. Are you supposed to explore one whole chalice to get enough materials for the next one? Yeah, like so if you could you could watch my run that I just did today as a guide, it'll it'll give you direct routes of where to go. But if you get into one chalice, all of the materials for the next chalice will be in the previous one, for the most part. There's a few items for the later ones you'll need to pick up here and there.
Nice. All right. Let's see what we get. You got the Beast Claw. Nice. And the Platinum. Perfect. We did it. We got a nice sound. We finished the run. Hooray. I'm going home.